Hipware testing is one of the most complex and fully encompassing projects that can be performed on a hip replacement device. The inherent complexity of this wear study means that there are numerous variables that can potentially affect the test results. One of the most critical variables in hipware testing is which spec you're going to use. So ISO and ASTM both have their own specs. ISO has their 14242-1 and dash 3 specs and then ASTM has their ASTM 1714 spec. First, we're going to look at the two ISO standards. We'll then discuss ASTM F1714. ISO 14242-1 and Dash 3 each outline separate motion profiles. Dash 1 outlines a multi-axial motion profile with flexion extension, abduction adduction, and internal external rotation. On the other hand, Dash 3 provides a standard for an orbital type biaxial motion profile that simulates flexion extension and abduction adduction through orbital rotation about a central axis. Not only do the two ISO standards differ in the type of motion profiles that they use, they also differ in the test fluid setup as well as the temperature that they are controlled at. The ISO 14242-1 standard calls for the fluid to be heated to 37 degrees C, which is body temperature. The ISO standard does not, the ISO-3 standard does not call for a temperature control. Another key difference between the two test methods has to do with the protein concentration of the test fluid. While Dash 3 doesn't necessarily specify a specific fluid temperature, the test method does call for a protein concentration of no less than 17 grams per liter, while Dash 1 suggests that the test fluid should have a protein concentration of 30 grams per liter. Both ISO standards call for applying a periodic loading waveform that mimics the load applied during the human gait cycle. Conversely, the ASTM standard calls for its own method of gravimetric measurement. So next we will discuss the ASTM F1714 method for hipware measurement. First drafted in 1996, ASTM F1714 calls for a motion profile that is similar to that of ISO 14242-1. However, this standard leaves many important parameters up to the researcher's discretion. Among these ambiguous parameters are axial waveform, motion type, lubrication type, and test protein content. As you can see, the differences between the two ISO specifications and the ASTM specification open the door for a great amount of variability even from lab to lab and test to test. When choosing an appropriate test method, it's important to understand that each te test method is going to potentially produce different wear results. Because of these variabilities, it's important to test your device side by side with a predicate device in order to compare apples to apples. Therefore, it's important to speak with your regulatory body official or your consultant in order to determine which test is appropriate for your device. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call here at Accutech. We would be pleased to discuss your upcoming project. Stay tuned for the next video in our series where we will discuss another potential variable in hipware testing. In the meantime, you can download our quick reference guide, which highlights all of the key differences that we just discussed.